Hi people, as you can see, this time I have Alcatel K10,000 Max. So this is the latest smartphone from this Chinese company. Actually, it is a uh, first 10,000 mAh capacity 3-proof smartphone. So let's see, uh, for example, it comes in black black box okay uh, it comes like this really nice packaging besides smartphone uh, you will also receive quick charger I don't know if you can see this, but it says uh, wrong a charger, but uh, it's same like this black uh, bo color and it's 9 volts to amperes. You will also receive a USB cable for USB Type C connector. Okay. Okay, and of course the smartphone. So on the market we have many different IP68 smartphones and some of them have better hardware, some less, but I believe that this company has made a really nice rugged smartphone because it has uh, good quality, great screen high capacity battery and good hardware. So let's say a few words about package, uh, build quality and design. So for example, the case, as you can see, is made from combination of rubber and plastic, high quality rubber and plastic. So this is how looks the backside or uh, back cover. Here we have fingerprint signal, the rear camera and huge and strong LED flashlight which I will show you later. Here is IP68 rating and here on the bottom of device we have USB Type-C port which is protected with cover okay okay it needs to be closed okay on the top of the device we have slot for headphones which is also protected with cover. On the right side of the phone below we have power on off button and on the right side of the phone we have volume buttons which are also made from rubber or plastic combination rubber plastic and it looks like this It is slightly bigger than everyday smartphone and fatter, but it is expected because uh, it has bigger battery and at the same time the case is stronger and it has more meat. Okay, also on the front side we have 5.5 inch screen with full HD resolution. Additionally, the screen is protected with Gorilla Glass protection and it is actually a multi-touch screen, so it is good. From what we can see, the screen is perfect because uh, full HD resolution for 5.5 inch screen is great combination. And as you can see, it looks really nice. It is enough sharp and 
visibility is great from every angle. Touch works precisely. Okay. You don't need to touch too hard. Okay. Overall, uh, I'm very satisfied with build quality because they done a great job from design, build quality, including the display. Okay, about built-in hardware and performance. Under the hood it has octa-core CPU with 3GB of RAM, including 32GB storage space where approximately user has, I will show you now, approximately 25 gigabytes and if you need more space you can upgrade it with micro SD card up to 128 gigabytes so it is okay uh, let's see for example CPU Z for more information as I said 8 cores Three gigabyte of RAM, and many different sensors, including gravity sensor, gyroscope. Okay, let's see onto to benchmark score. The score is pretty okay. for this kind of device okay let's see for example how YouTube works Let's see. This. So, you can see YouTube works just fine, no lags, the sound is very good. So you can normally enjoy watching YouTube videos, clips, movies, even maybe some TV shows. Okay, let's go to the next information about phone. Let's see for example how uh, full HD movies from storage works. This is not so the full HD movie.
also, the same situation is also here. Video is working just fine. Uh, let's see a game. How games works. Okay, it's loading for the first time. Unfortunately, for some reason, the game won't work, but uh, recently when I tried the game, it was working just fine. Also, the same situation like YouTube, watching videos or something else. Okay. Uh, when we speak about GPS, for example, GPS works with precision 8 meters and it helps also compass application which show you directions and directions of the phone okay the gps as you can see is working including the compass uh, unfortunately it does not have any other similar applications but you can normally download it from google play store about uh, connectivity in functions it has normally Wi-Fi GPS Bluetooth but it has also USB type C connector and it supports uh, OTG reverse charge in other words it can charge other devices like smartphones tablets and other gadgets thanks to high capacity battery and this phone acts like a power bank uh, about cameras, it has 16 megapixel rear camera, which is here, and you can normally take photos underwater and outside, uh, maximum 2 meters underwater, up to 30 minutes, because it is uh, water resistant device, including the camera. So the camera is 60 megapixel and from available information it says it is made for, by Samsung but unfortunately I, uh, they don't provide any additional information about sensor and anything else. But you can see in description from my right and view photo samples uh, where the photo quality is good for this price range. But what is most interesting the rear camera has large 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 LED flashlight which provides super strong flash and it can be used also as regular flashlight so let's see uh, flashlight so you can see very very strong flashlight really good Besides that, the front-facing camera, which is actually here, is 8 megapixel. And last but not less important is the battery, so which in this case is high-capacity battery. Actually, it has 10,000 mAh capacity, which provides very, very long autonomy. But at the same time, it supports fast charging and normally you will receive quick charger 9 volts to amperes. So, for example, from 0 to 100% or fully charged, it needs approximately 3 hours. And if you're wondering, for example, it can last approximately 650 hours in standby mode but also it can last approximately 40 hours talk time or even 
20 hours of watching videos, YouTube or something else, which is actually excellent result for this kind of device. And don't forget it can charge other devices, so it can act like a power bank. And as I said earlier, it is cheap, so at this moment it costs around $250 and I believe this is a reasonable price for this kind of device. That's it people, any questions about Alcatel K10000 Max, please ask or comment. All comments which are polite are welcome. Thank you.